next, Matt? Me, me it is. Um, so I thought about this one, uh, another one that doesn't require much research, but I truly thought it was and it, it, one where we can give our own little anecdotes for it. What is the loneliest thing mm-hmm. you guys have each done? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm willing to start if you guys don't I can, want to. I can start. You want to start? You go um, for it, Shrode. So, most New Year's. Oh, <laughs> oh really? Most New Year's, yeah. My parents will go out to parties, and they'll be like, you can come with us. I'm like, I'm going to be the only child there. You guys are 50 years old. I can't, I'm not going to hang out with a bunch of 50 year olds. On New Year's. So what do you do? Sit on my roof. <laughs> cold, <laughs> with a bottle of Welch's sparkling grape juice and pretend like I'm having a wild time. So sad. That's such a sad image. I'm Is that laughing. Every New Last Year's? lonely time. Is that That's, every New Year's? Not last New Year's, okay, but... Cool. Most New Year's. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's such a. I can't even laugh at that. That's uh, like I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing at it because like I'm like oh it just makes it's like it's such so a bad, bad image from like I'm filling imagining the space. Little, little Emily too. Little just Emily like... showed sitting on her roof. Oh god. All my neighbors are like. You have a brother. What did you? What you didn't go hang out with your He's brother? He's in college. Oh yeah. Oh. He doesn't want to hang out with me. Oh, that's just <laughs> sad. Yeah, that that's that definitely qualifies as lonely. Yeah. yeah. Which did... I mean, jokes on him. We're living together next year, so. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, if you have a lonely New Year's here, you're not doing college right, though, to be fair. Yeah. Oh, I guess, yeah. you, I guess well, we go back, home. I was back home. Yeah, I guess we go back home. Never mind, I forgot about that. That's a fair point. What about you, Ethan? What's the so, I, I think this is differently. <laughs> For me, I like, being, I like being alone. Yeah, sure. I, I, not to be like a douche or anything, but like yeah. the way I live my life, I'm always surrounded by people. Mm-hmm. And it's to keep me sane, right. but there are moments I need to be away. Because it's like, I don't like being quiet. I don't like the, I don't like the voices, you know, right? <laughs> I don't want to be alone. <laughs> but there are moments, though, where I'm just like, I physically have it. Like, I'll be like at her place and then go straight to a class and then go, you know, go film something and then go back to her place. You know, I'm always around people. Mm-hmm. So there's moments where I'm like, I just need to sit here <laughs> by myself in silence. But in terms of that, uh, the most alone I've ever felt mm-hmm. was, uh, so I used to wrestle back in high school, and uh, it was back when I lived in England also. We used to travel all the time, like everywhere, like all over the world, basically, mm-hmm. all, all over Europe. So we'd go to like, these in Germany, or we'd go to France, we'd go to like Belgium, or we'd wow. go to whatever. And there was a time when we were in, uh, yeah, no, Stuttgart. We were in Stuttgart, that's where they're in Porsches. Mm-hmm. And we were in Stuttgart, Germany, and it was like, we stopped off for the wrestling trip, and the bus was there, and the thing was, everyone really wanted to go to this Italian place. Mm-hmm. And I had already gone there for football season. <laughs> and oh, it's a really for you. We yeah, really, brag about it. There was another, this last time. There was, was another Germany. place I wanted to go to. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like, both these places are equally as good, but this Italian place, it's really cool. Like they like fresh in like a wok, make the pasta for you. So like, I want this. I want this. I want like. This manicure, I want arugula on here. I want all these oh, things. And they put so it in there. Good. It's such a good. You should, you should go with every day. But, um, but everyone want to go, and I'm like, I don't want to drive two hours away because there's this really cool ramen place. I really want to try. I want to see how German ramen is, whatever. Mm. So I was being, you know, I'm in high school. I'm, you know me, I'm stubborn. I'm really, really stubborn. Sure. So I got an argument with everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I got an argument with everyone, and I was like, Well, screw it. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Y'all can go over there, and it was like. Middle of January, because it's wrestling season, it's just, like, snows all over the ground, it's, like, cold, I'm, like, wearing my hoodie and, like, sweatpants, you know, I'm just right. hop, hop right through, and everyone's like, oh, all right, meet us at the Italian place and you're done, I'm like, all right, because <laughs> we're like, hey, like, literally, once the bus stops, we just hang out and do our own thing, and then it's like, you have to be there for the meet, yeah. so until the wrestling meet starts, we're just free running. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, okay, I can walk through Germany by myself. Oh my god. No biggie. And I'm just walking through, and the cold just hopping through. There's random German people looking at me. Oh god. And I'm just, at this point, like, my beard was starting to come in as a kid. Yeah. So I just had, like, the massive stubble going on with, like, my really puffy hair. I was so dewy, <laughs> and I'm just, like, walking through people, like. Oh, damn. They're, like, trying to talk. Okay. To, they're trying to talk. <laughs> now I see. You know, got now a, I get it. It's got the context. <laughs> I was now. like, wait. Yeah. And, and then walking through, and at first I was, like, fuming. So, like, I had this like ee! in my head so I wasn't really noticing it uh. and then I got to the point where I'm like halfway there and I realized how much of a distance it was from the bus stop to like my place and I'm uh. like do the food place I mean? I'm like and I saw myself in like the reflection of a storefront window <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and I'm just like so disheveled <laughs> I, I look like I just like, escaped the camp you know oh, oh. <laughs> I was on the road oh my goodness and I'm like I'm you had to like, go there. And I'm like, I'm <laughs> literally alone. <laughs> like, this is the most alone I've ever felt. Oh, my goodness. I'm like, you know, my parents are, like, literally countries away from me. Oh. All my friends are, like, in a place. I'm like, 
man, <laughs> I don't like this. Did you turn back? Or did you <laughs> turn around? Oh, good for you. I went back and I was just like, I'm gonna go get, I'm gonna get some Italian. Food. Yeah, it's good for you. <laughs> oh my god, that, and that's a realization. I, oh, that's crazy. Now the question is, Ukiro, do you want to go next or do no, you want no, me to no, go man. next? You want to go last? Yeah. You, it better be a good story then, because you gotta. Dude, okay, cool, cool. Wait, wait, okay. no, let me go. Then. As embarrassing as my story. Let me go. Um, is, yeah, let's. Let's hear it. I don't know if it's like. I mean, culture shock, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, you, I don't know, man. I didn't grow up in the party culture, honestly. Like, I, I, it's still, I still see parties as, like, you know, functional. Like, sure. you go there to have fun with mm-hmm. people. I go to parties to dance mm-hmm. on my own if I don't have company, right? So, um, I, I didn't know too many people back then in my freshman year here, you know, and you just came from Nigeria. And, and I'm not, people like party back in Nigeria. I just didn't grow up around that kind of um, environment, you know. Yeah, mommy and daddy, I'm sorry, I party in college. You know, like, <laughs> I mean, like, I go out, you know, like I'm not partying every weekend, but I go out with my friends. I'm part of an acapella group, right? Mm-hmm. But before that, before I was part of this acapella group where we could go out and we could have fun at someone's place, um, I would... Uh, <laughs> On Friday nights and Saturday nights, I would. <laughs> <laughs> I live in Jester, right? Yeah. No, no, no. It's not. It's not a big deal, but like it's so lonely when you think about it. It's so lonely and so cliche. Um, I've said cliche too many times today. I would leave my dorm room, take the elevator downstairs, like to the second floor, and go to the piano room and play piano for like hours. That's not. Oh, I imagine. I thought you were gonna say you go up to the roof, and look at the moonlight, and you're <laughs> singing to the moon by yourself. <laughs> The, the only thing that tops that was when I would go on the bridge that connects the engineering buildings and just reflect on life. Right. Oh. And be like, you know, and I would watch the whatever. It, it just felt like, I don't know, it's not like I didn't have friends, but kind of like similar to Ethan, it was like, sometimes I just like being alone. Mm-hmm. And parties, I didn't feel like going to parties then. But like, I just feel, it was, a low-key I was lonely, you mm-hmm. know, because I would go and I would sing songs mm-hmm. and I was getting over, like, a past relationship. Like, there was, was so much context and layers to it and that's why I did the music and I, it helped me get better so it's not a funny movie really experience. good by the way like, yeah, I've, like, I've seen his group a couple of times thank you they're really good yeah, I've heard him sing before he's, he's pretty good <laughs> <laughs> um, no yeah, see that's not but that's more like peaceful it's, it's weird how we have all different types of lonely here I right got, like, yeah it's sad lonely we've got like uh, yeah, that just sad <laughs> miserable lonely yeah we just got like completely alone in another country lonely and then this is more just like reflective peaceful lonely mm-hmm. um I guess I'll go with mine then. Uh-oh. Uh, so mine, my story, mine's is kind of weird because it was, half of it was unintentional and then the other half I kind of recommitted to being lonely. So, uh, God, I don't remember when, when did The Hateful Eight come out? Uh, last year. Okay. Well, when The Hateful Eight was, when The Hateful Eight was coming out, I went to go see it in, my, in theaters and I was like, you know what, I'll go see it with my mom. And she's like, all right, I'm getting out of a doctor appointment, get us tickets, we'll be right there. I'm like, cool. Uh, we were on our way over there, and then she, uh, I got there. I'm in the seats, studio movie girl, waiting for her. I'm texting her, like, hey, movie's oh, about no. to start. Where are you? She's like, sorry, <laughs> sorry, buddy. Uh, Did you swerve? I by my own mother. <laughs> um, and she's like, sorry, the appointment's running long. Just go ahead and watch it without me. And I was like, okay, I guess I'll watch it. So I watched The Hateful Eight by myself, which is now in retrospect probably a good thing because it's kind of a super vulgar movie. You know? My mother's fine with that kind of stuff. It's just like... You would have been looking over you. Yeah, I did not have to be like, <laughs> checking my shoulder every second. So I watched this movie by myself and it was a long movie. It was like two and a half, uh, two hours? Like, yeah, it's all... It's two and a half hours, something like that. He stretches it. So I watched this whole movie. I'm like, okay, cool. And I, I, the whole time you know, I ordered, I think I ordered like... Uh, an ice cream sundae. So I'm sitting there, and it comes in big challenge. So I'm eating this ice cream sundae all by myself, mm-hmm. and I watch The Hateful Eight, and I'm like, wow, this is kind of lonely. <clears throat> the next day, I'm like, oh, I got to go see The Revenant. The Revenant is coming out, and I have to go see that because I heard it's such a good movie, and Leo's in it, and I'm so excited. So I go there, and I couldn't find anyone to go with. I willingly commit to go and watch this movie, uh, watch this movie, another movie, again, within the same 24 hours. The thing I didn't realize until halfway through the movie was, and why it felt so long during the time was, they're both take place in the same time era and like they're like just uh, early America like yeah. winter time yeah. so it felt like I, and I was sitting in the same theater so I felt like I was watching one long movie and I was like oh my god how long have I been in this era like it's still snowing everyone's sad it's America what the fuck is happening and I had the ice cream again I'm like oh, it's cold I'm cold they're cold like in The Revenant you see how cold Leonardo gets and I'm just like this is, I feel you buddy and I'm so alone just like you so mine was more like I committed into it and I didn't realize how I put myself almost in a different time era for like a total of nearly six hours mm-hmm. in two days I do not go see movies alone that often anymore like after that I was just it was too much 
It was it was it was weird that it came out at the same time too. It's hilarious. That being said, I, both good movies. I so I guess about your topic though is none of us. Well, like Hero is kind of like this. That's why I thought we were all going to bring up. You never really experience being alone until you go to college. Like yeah, or like, like well, like yeah. I, I guess I guess people who don't go to college they have that when they like move on themselves mm-hmm. kind of thing. But there's a really interesting feeling of like I always call college uh, being an adult with training wheels, where it's like we're not really adults right now. Right. Like we're we're on a closed campus. We like. Do, are, like we can go to Wendy's and get a four for four and yeah. live off of that. We have classes. We're like not really adults yet. We're like, and we're still fetus, you know. Right. So it's always interesting to me that like you do have these moments though where you're in the middle of Austin and you're like, <laughs> you, you committed to go do something. Yep. And I'm like, my parents are a thousand miles away in a different city, like not even in the state, whatever, and they're over doing their own thing. And like my mom sends me a Snapchat, my buddy sends me a Snapchat of back home, and I'm like. Oh yeah, I'm not there. Like, you know, like if I if I, if it hits I, you. I, I yeah, I can't just go over there and hang out with them. So there's moments of like, it's not even loneliness. It's just like realization that I'm like, oh, and I have that a lot. Mm-hmm. I have I have a lot of nostalgia all the time because I've lived in so many different places and because I just have like these different friend groups. And now that they're all on my Snapchat, they'll just send me snaps constantly. And I'm like, oh, here's my buddy Robert who lives in Spain. And oh, here's my buddy Cole who's up in school in Vancouver. And here's my buddy who's going to school in, you know, San Antonio. It's an hour away, but he's still physically away from me. (laughs) And I realize, I'm like, everyone's doing their own things. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, it's not even, it's kind of like FOMO almost, like if you're missing out. It's almost, I'm like, all my friends are like doing okay for themselves. And I think I'm doing okay too, but like, like, I'm not not there. So I just can't like physically interface with them. And 